Hello and welcome to your first C++ program. What I've done is I've typed out the simplest possible C++ program I could that works. And uh, if you notice, I don't start the program on the very first line. You can if you want, but I don't because sometimes I can miss it. The very first thing I see up here is I see this pound sign include and then inside the less than sign less than sign and greater than sign I see IO stream. What this means this is called a preprocessor directive and basically what it says is to include the C code C++ code that's in a program called IO stream include that in the program I'm going to write. Basically what this stands for is input output stream it allows my C++ program to read the keyboard and to give output to the screen. C++ was originally written for mainframes, not for computers like we use today with keyboards and output screens where we can interact with them. Using namespace std semicolon, that simply tells the, the C++ compiler and all that other good stuff not to mess things up with how I name things. Don't worry about that for now. Just know that you need it. If you don't put it in there, this won't work. I just put another space just to start my main program. You don't need this space, but I like to put one in. Init main semicolon. This is the main function in C++. All C++ programs must have a main with these uh, with the parentheses here. The init int tells the C++ program, tells the processor, that I might return a, a value of an integer. And if you don't understand what that means now, don't worry about it. Just know that you have to put that line of code in there. The very next thing I see is what's called an opening brace. It's hard to see what it is, but it's an opening brace. And what it means, it means that my code is going to start right after this opening brace. And my code is what will be inside main, and my code will cause the program to do something. When I'm finished with all my code, I have to put a closing brace to let the, the uh, program know, okay, I'm finished now. So this is the simplest possible C++ program I could have. In order to see if it's okay, if everything works, I come up here and, and to where it says compile and run, and I click on it, and I get this, and it's compiling, and then that screen came and went real quick, and I get no errors. So that means I did it right. Let's look at it as if I had an error. I'm going to come up here and remove that semicolon, and I'm going to come over here and compile and run again. And I do that, and now it highlights this, and if I just look at that, I think, well, I got an error here. But no, I have to come down here and read what the error says. It says expected semicolon before int. Well, I know I don't put a semicolon here. So I come up to the next line of code, and I see, oh, that's where I have the missing semicolon. So besides seeing the red line for where an error might be, you also have to read down here. The other thing, too, is that I could have written the program like this, and sometimes you'll see C++ program. You, you, see, you see this little guy here? He's now up here, and then code goes down here. This still works, but I don't like doing that, and the reason why I don't like doing that is because it's hard for me to see whether or not I put this little guy in there. All right, so... I like to do it like this. The other thing too is I don't have to indent if I don't want to. In other words, I could have this guy way, uh, excuse me, I could have this guy way over to the left and I could also have this guy way over to the left. But I don't like to do that. I like to indent these to show that the code that I'm putting in between them belongs to uh, init main. Okay, that's our basic introduction. What I would suggest is that you try a program like this and see if you can get it to compile. It's not going to do anything, but this is your basic, basic C++ program, and you'll, ba and you'll always be using this kind of structure. Okay, thank you for watching.